Hello, hello, I'm Cads, and welcome to today's video. I am back in town just in the nick of time based on the look of the uh, portal here, and it is lit up blue for two times ancients. Now, this was a triple 2x weekend, meaning there was two times sacreds and voids, but as we discussed in my last video, I only intended to pull for the 2x ancients portion of that event. And since I mentioned it last time, I will say that I did have an absolute blast at the Ch VCT championship in LA. It was very, very fun to witness it live and in person uh, hang out with a couple of friends from college as well but yeah it was nice to see north america finally take the win for our region we've been starving for a victory for a long time at least since valorant has begun uh, i think since like the initial first few tournaments for the game we, we won something but since then it's been to various other regions and rightly so they did earn it but it was finally nice for it to come back home to north america and for the event to be hosted in north america because throughout the year it is hosted in different countries as well i am somewhat curious if any of you guys my lovely viewers play valorant if you if you do let me know down in the comment section below and comment your uh your current rank if you play ranked so now let us shift our attention to the lovely blue lit up portal and we can look at my current shard count obviously it's only been a couple of days since the last shard pull video but nonetheless we can go through what i currently have stacked up we have 533 on the ancients which we will be dipping into this evening or i guess yeah this evening <laughs> we have 228 on the void shards and 63 on the sacred shards we can go ahead and take a look at the champion chase tournament it's a pretty standard par for the course one and we are we are targeting as always the legendary tome at three thousand points so usually this takes around 60 70 maybe 80 with some bad rng in terms of a number of, of ancient shards so we're expecting something in the normal range here so somewhere around 70 i made 80 spaces just in case as usual we will be keeping track of our points with every 10 pop of ancients because we don't want to overshoot 3000 by too much because i don't really want to waste any shards you never know, there might be a guaranteed in the future, even though those are pretty few and far in between nowadays, and they've also not been champions that I really want, so that's kind of a bummer. But nonetheless, I will be prepared if and when they return and provide a decent enough quality champion for me to invest in. Also, I did bring it up in my last video, but we can take a look at the Mercy Tracker, where it stands for Ancient Shards. Has not changed because I haven't pulled any, but we are currently eight since the last Legendary, and so we're 192 away from Mercy. So we are nowhere near Mercy at all whatsoever, but it is 2x Ancients, and so 1 in 100 chance, you never know. Pulling 70-ish shards, we could hit a Legendary, but worst case, we're building up Mercy towards some other event in the future. So if nothing happens, then it's not the end of the world. As far as the wish list, it has not changed. Um, well, actually, that's not true. It has changed. I'm going to add Rotos to the list. Obviously, you guys have seen on my account that I do have Rotos, but I have two of them, and I would like a third because I would be very, very tempted to plus two my Rotos. Even though I don't have the Undead Horde Faction Guardians full, I think it's probably worth it just for the stats on a Rotos. So we can add him to the near the top of the list. I think Poison Exploders are still first, and then a Rotos then a Valkyrie, then a Molly Tankard. And as for Epics, we're still looking for Crowd in the Blue and or any of the Sylvan Watchers just for duplicates for the Faction Guardians. So without further ado, let's get into the pulls. We've got some space, we've got some cash, and hopefully we've got some decent luck. Let's get into it. First 10 pop, here we go. Fresh set of loads of epics, hopefully. Seize, I think he's one of the daily, one of the last daily, if not the last daily log and reward champions. I heard that he hits decently hard, but I've not tested it myself. And Snorting Thug is pretty much useless. There's not much to say about him in particular. Moving right along at 1100 points total, let's keep it going with the second 10 pop of the evening. Come on, epics. We got one hope. Uh, she does have it, the ability to extend buffs, uh, kind of like a, a God Seeker Neary or Sinless Survivor. However, it's on a four turn cooldown, so she is not as optimal for like an Infinity Team or some other type of comp. Uh, comp composition there we go that's the word we're looking for alika i've heard great things from scratch and other people that she is an excellent epic nuker for the force affinity so if she's what you need then she might be the champion for you on top of hitting hard she also does have the basher like ability where she can increase the cooldowns of abilities by two turns so she can be a little bit of, of lockout 
or CC with the lockout as well as an overall DPS. Another 580 brings us to 1600, so we're about halfway to that legendary tome. Let's keep it going with the third 10 pop. Here we go. Hopefully we can get a triple, maybe a quad epic. That would be pretty nice. Still not seeing the epic that we actually want to get. Okay, we're just, we're just keep getting double sets. Uh, Tomoe, not much to say about her or Hexia as well. Not really much to say about those two. In fairness, averaging two epics per 10 pop is not the end of the world. So another 580 in the bank brings us to 2200. So ideally... We're following the trend, at least we'd be done in 20 more shards. And let's see if that is going to be the case. Or we could just get a set of like a triple epic that might do it as well. Looking like a s double, another double. Okay. Uh, Chancellor Yasmin. She's decent, maybe like C tier epic, not really used anywhere. She has, I think she has like a little bit of buff, stri buff strip going on. Um, but it's not 100% chance, and it's on a four-turn cooldown, so it's not as reliable. And then she can uh, heal an ally. I don't know. It's it's not the best. She's not the strongest. But they did fix her AI so that she doesn't try to strip buffs when there's nothing there. So she'll just kind of permanently uh, keep using the A2 to heal people instead of wasting the A3 when there's no buffs. Um, Chonaru, one of the like free promo code champions. She hits okay, pretty weak in my opinion, so not much to say about her. With another 580 in the bank, we are basically there, 2,800 points out of 3,000. Now, I could do these in terms of single pulls and just wait until we get an epic, because that'll put us over the line, but I'm lazy, so we're going to do one last 10 pop. Unless we get all blues, which would be really unfortunate, we should be guaranteed here to get the legendary tome. Hopefully, I didn't jinx myself. Okay, Bergoth the Malformed, a previous fusion champion. It looks like another, oh man, another all, all double sets of uh, epics today so pretty consistent on the rates but uh, Burgoth the Malformed he's like the weak version of Vogoth with his passive so he's just not as good Vogoth is way better so I definitely recommend using him over Burgoth and Old Hermit Yorg is basically a Fraction Wars champion or he can revive he kind of like a Gorgorab as well with increased attack and turn meter fill so he can do he can do dual purpose <laughs> man I can't speak today he can do dual purpose in Arena and Faction Wars um, and his revival is two random allies um, as uh, compared to Gorgrab who might use his heal his, his revive to heal which can kind of be annoying on auto so Majorg is a permanent revive um, and it also puts them under a veil so they won't get dropped right back down into the ground so pretty neat overall so I think that's gonna do it for our shard pulls for this evening we saved 30 spaces so it looks like it took uh, 50 shards so not bad pretty good rates overall like i said getting two epics per 10 pop is a pretty good average uh let's double check my math here in the champion chase we should be just over 3000 maybe like 3300 or so give or take it might not even show let's see 3400 there we go so yep we got our immortal soul stone we got the titan points here and most importantly we got ourselves the legendary tome so yeah that's going to do it for today's video we achieved our goal of getting the legendary tome from the champion chase by pulling some ancient shards um, during the 2x ancients portion of the triple 2x weekend as always if you enjoyed the video then be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one thanks for watching and have a good one